okay guys um so pretty much the um the software experience uh from the start i um i closed the um the um exit screen from the dv uh dv by the other configuration assistance what i do now is i actually take you guys to the um my software home which is right here i'm going to copy this Ben, and then I'm going to issue a command equal person before I do that. Let me make sure my search is open. My search is started. So RC1, there you go. RC1 is started. Okay, I'm going to close this. Minimize it. SQL plus. I have to create the DPS. There you go. And if you guys look at what's uh, in terms of like what's, what it says, like you just have, if you pay attention to the message assistant, because now you have a storage management. Uh, as your as your um, storage um, as your storage um, method. So what you do now is you um, come on like I got this stuff. So I'll like, show you guys a few things. Actually, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take you guys to creating um, to creating how to create your uh, your own man, your recovery manager. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to select. This group name, this group form. What I'll do is I will select name. Actually, select. Uh, no, let me do it. Select username from all underscore users. Okay. Um. Again, these are different users that I have.
data from and then the location is it's going to be uh, this one for what I do about mock I will show you guys for what I just did I right click and I mark it and I'm going to do this entire uh, one circle right there and then I will call this one Table click on and get a file. Disk well, scale size one. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's like close it. There you go. So I had I had this an additional single quote and I failed it off, but that was a mistake. Um, so what I do now is uh, I have a table space. I will create common create. I'm just here in my environment file for regular use. I'm gonna issue shut down immediate. Because I have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I have to put my database in our archive log mode and my database has to be mounted in the mounting stage for me to do that. So uh, I'm gonna issue startup mount command. where I've created my archive log file. Um, the archive log is uh, actually being written to that directory already. No, 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 uh, man, okay, default, no, let's see, I really, I really screwed up, um, I'm gonna exit, I'm gonna, oh, oh, exit, okay, I have not assigned, oh man, any privileges yet, so, I'm gonna, Source um, connect recovery 
catalog underscore owner underscore owner okay guys you see that this is this was the missing what I was looking for Left this off is because, like, obviously, I know I know it's gonna connect to the OAP on that database. Specifically, you want to do is you want to issue a connect. Uh, let's say you want to cover this all up here, so you want to issue a connect target and you want to put in username slash password. And then the reason why I'm, I'm doing this is because like um like perfect environment is to basically have your database in our catalog mode. Um to have recovery catalog configured and also one last thing that I do is I will rest my database. Okay, so I just erased it so what I do now is I get software with uh, ASM as a storage method and recovery managers for home recoveries and backups. Thanks a lot for watching.